Hi, this is Steve with Knee Family Lights. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. I want to revisit testing the specs of 12 volt regulated WS2811 pixels. The last time I did this review was with my 2017 bullet pixels, and I got a bundle of 50 here. And what I now have with me are some 2020 regulated pixels and also some 2021 regulated pixels. So let's get into it, see how they compare over time and see if there's any differences. If you find this information useful, click the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future content. Okay, so here's the test setup. I've got my Falcon F16 V3 that's been in use for over five years now and still going strong. Again, we'll be using the first output off the controller and it is calibrated the power supply at 12.0 volts with a voltmeter. This is uh, output number one right here. And I've got it going into an adapter to most of these pixels because the pigtails are a little bit different than my 2017 pixels. And it's going to this volt ammeter. If you want to know how I wired this up, take a look at the link in the description below for another video. Uh, at the end of the 50 pixels, I have another pigtail, that uh, another tester, where we can then measure the voltage. So let's step through this. Here we have 50 of the 2020 regulated pixels, and we will start with 100% and go down in 10% increments down to zero. Here is 100%. We're looking at 2.42 amps at 11.4 volts with a little bit of loss down to 10.3 volts at the end. Let's go down to 90%. 2.17 amps at 11.4 volts. We'll go down to 80%. 1.94 amps at 11.5 volts. We'll go to 70%. 1.7 amps at 11.6 volts. We'll go down to 60%. 1.46 amps at 11.6 volts. We'll go down to 50 percent. 1.22 amps at 11.7 volts, down to 40. 0 0.99 amps at 11.8 volts, we'll go down to 30 percent. 0 0.74 amps at 11.8 volts, go down to 20 percent. 0 0.51 amps at 11.9 volts, down to 10 percent. 0 0.26 amps at 11.9 volts and we will turn them off and off they're using 0 0.14 amps at 12 volts. All right these are the 2021 pixels and we will start with 100 percent. A little bit of voltage loss in the beginning from the pigtail end. So 11.3 volts, 2.45 amps. And at the end of the 50 pixels is 10.3 volts. We'll decrement the output brightness in 10% steps down to zero. So here's 90%. 2.45 amps at 11.4 volts, 80%. 1.94 amps at 11.5 volts, 70%. 1.69 amps at 11.6 volts, 60%. 1.46 amps at 11.6 volts, 50%. 1.21 amps at 11.7 volts, 40%. 0 0.97 amps at 11.8 volts, 30%. 0 0.72 amps at 11.8 volts, 20%. 0 0.48 amps at 11.9 volts, 10%. 0 0.23 amps at 12 volts, and back off. Here we have 320 uh, pixels 
There's six bundles of 50 here, and I've got them all connected to each other. And we'll just check the electrical resistance between the ground lines from the beginning to the end, and also the V plus. And we can then figure out what the electrical wire performance is. Okay, 5.7. and 5.6 ohms. And here we have 300 of the 20, 21 pixels. These are three groups of 100. And we'll test also the V plus and ground lines to see the resistance. Okay, 6.5. And 6.5 as well. All right, here we are in Excel. Let's first take a look at the electrical wire performance of each of these pixels. Here's the data from the 2017 pixels. We have 50 pixels per string, and the length here is 51 times 4 because there's a pigtail on each end of those strings. The measurement across four sets of strings was 4.2 ohms, and the length across those four strings were 204 times 4, so 816 inches long. The website I'm going to show here in a second, which is right here, takes the measurement based upon uh, ohms resistance across 1,000 feet. So we have to scale 816 inches up to 1,000 feet. So that scaling is right here. Uh, we have to multiply our resistance by 14.7. So 4.2 times 14.7 gets us to 61.7 ohms. And if I switch over to the browser, and we see here that on this website, it uses resistance of ohms per 1,000 feet. In our Excel calculations, we're looking at 61.7. So if we scroll down here, we'll see that 61.7 is somewhere just after this number here, so about 27 uh, ohms. Now mind you that these are wires that are also soldered onto these boards, so this is the effective wire gauge as if it's copper wire going through everything from beginning to end. Now we're looking at the 2020 pixels. We have 50 pixels per string. Again, uh, one pigtail on each end of the 50 pixels, so 204 inches. The resistance we measured is 5.6 ohms across six strings now. And the length of the six strings is 204 times six, or 1,224 inches. Converting that to 1,000 feet, it's a scaling factor of 9.8. So if we take 5.6 ohms, multiply it by 9.8, we get 54.9 ohms across 1,000 feet. And if we switch back and take a look at the website again, it's about 27 uh, gauge as well. For the 2021 pixels, these are in bundles of 100. So there's 100 pixels per string. They have four inch spacing plus a pigtail on each end. So 101 plus times four is 404 inches per string. The measurement we got across three strings is six and a half ohms, and the length of those three strings is 404 times three, or 1,212. So to scale that length of 1,212 up to 1,000 feet, we'd have to multiply by 9.9. .9. So to get the ohms per thousand feet, here we're taking six and a half ohms, multiplying it by 9.9 .9 to get to 64. And if we take a look at the website, it's about 28 gauge. Again, this is assuming it's pure copper wire running through all 300 pixels. If you look closely at the pixels, the wires are soldered on both sides of each uh, pixel. So this is going through all those pixels and all the wires and the pigtails. So why go through all the trouble to figure out the effective electrical wire gauge of our pixels? If you use John Spiker's RGB pixel light power calculator, you can use this to model how much power your pixels have and whether or not you need to do any power injection. Here I'm showing 50 pixels, 12 volts. I plugged in 0.55 watts as we measured, 4 inches at 100%. And we started at 11.3 volts, and at the end of the line at 100%, we are at 10.3. So I'm finagling the numbers here a little bit to get that voltage drop shown here in his website using 25 gauge wire for the pixels. 
For the power details, I plugged in 27 gauge wire at a wire length of 5 feet, even though my wire length is actually a little bit shorter than that. And here on the site, it's showing the amp load on the wire at 2.29 amps. We measured 2.45 amps, so the modeling here is a slight bit off, but you can still use it to get a good gauge as to whether or not you need to power inject. Green is good, yellow is moderate, and red means you're going to have some kind of power issue, so you need to figure out something else or do some power injection. Now let's take a look at all the results of the pixel testing. Here's a summary of the 2017 pixels. I didn't rerun these tests, but the results are here. We will compare them against the 2020 and 2021. If you want, you can take a screenshot here. Scrolling to the right, here are the results of the 20. 20 pixels and you can see here um, at full 100% we are drawing 2.42 amps at 11.4 volts so the total wattage is here and then the watts per pixel assuming they're all the same it's a little bit less as you go down the line but this is a pretty close approximation of the 50 pixels at 0.552 it's a little bit more efficient than the 2017 pixels and as you can see as we went from 10 10% uh, increments down from 100 down to 0. It's pretty close. 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, 10. And then we drop down to 0. It's still using 6%. That's about what we had in the 2017 pixels. Anywhere between 5 and 6% of the power is still being used when all the pixels are off. If we scroll over one more, we can take a look at the 2021 data. All right, so here are those pixels, 2.45 amps at 100%. Total watts across all 50 is 27.7.554 watts per pixel. It's very close to the 2020 pixels. If you look at the uh, drop from 100 down to zero, it's also very close to the linear steps. I'll have a summary here of all three sets of pixels side by side, so we can take a look. And what we have here is the 2017 pixels are in this column, 2020 pixels are here, and 2021 pixels are there, the results. So if I scroll down a little here, at 100%, the 2017 pixels use 0.622 watts per pixel versus 2020 at 0.552 and 2021 at 0.554. If you look at the numbers between the 2020 and 2021, they're so close, they're almost basically the same. And then compared to the 2017, they are about 11%, a little bit more efficient than the 2017 pixels. So the newer pixels are a little bit more efficient, but they're still driving, uh, using a lot more power, especially compared to the resistor-based uh, pixels. If you haven't seen that video, I do test the specs of the resistor-based pixels, and I'll have a link to that in the, in the description below. Again, when all the pixels are off, they're using anywhere between 5 to 6%, which that looks pretty consistent. And I have here just a summary of the effective electrical wire gauges. Um, we have here, actually this is 6 sets of 50. Okay, so it's 27, 27, and 28. And that about wraps up this video. The 2017 regulated 12 volt pixels use 0.62 watts per pixel. The 2020 and the 2021 12 volt regulated pixels use 0.55 watts per pixel, about 11% more efficient. And they all basically have the same effective electrical wire gauge. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.